Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for watching the video. I am Memo Sebo and I'm joined by Daniel Galvan. Daniel Galvan. The again. Super Bowl happened. The Super Bowl happened. Who won, Daniel? Coldplay. Coldplay Cold won. won. Hey, for, yeah, Coldplay won for me, dude. Uh, did you like Beyonce? No, she totally ruined the performance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want to be independent. No one has that opinion, so that's know, now right? my opinion. Beyonce sucks. Yeah, well, Super Bowl happened this weekend. And of course, we got the trailers, the comic book trailers and previews. A whole lot of them. A lot of them. I mean, we got five from the comic book movies that we're going to get this year. So Somehow there was no Fantastic Four sequel trailer. What happened with that? Why? I mean, did you like the movie? It was one of the greats. Yeah, you told me he, it was one of your favorites. Yeah, I loved the whole... Yeah, I mean, the... Dr. Doom didn't look stupid. I'm surprised we haven't got a second Fantastic Four. Whatever. Oh, man. Well, what, one of them, and my, let's say, second to least favorite. Okay. This one is the Turtles. Teenage Mutant Teenage Ninja Teenage Turtles. Yep, with Stephen Amell, the guy from uh, Arrow. He was hardly in that trailer, right? Yeah, he was in one scene only. I think he was running from uh, Rocksteady. He was, like, in his little skates, and yeah. he was running away like a little girl. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, who, would, who wouldn't run from that big animal? I would. He looks scary. He it looks huge. He, well, here's the thing with that trailer. I liked it, but like you, I think it was like the second to worst worst yeah. trailer. But I think that's more because all the trailers are pretty cool. Yeah. But what I liked about this teenage teenage ninja. What I liked about this trailer uh. is I didn't feel stupid watching it because for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, mm -hmm. there's a real thin line, much like a Dragon Ball oh, yeah. Z kind of movie, where yeah. it can go from just looking stupid yeah. or looking cool. I mean, and, it's, and it's the turtles. I mean, at its core, it's it's for kids. It's a yes. comedy movie one. Yes, but so, we're 20 year olds. That, yeah, and it's CGI and it has action. So I mean, we're still gonna watch it though. Yeah, I think it will be better than the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie so. they just I did. So. I, I mean, think so. We gotta look at Crank. Crank looks badass. He does. I mean, this this opens a door for like Dimension X and the Ultrons and Rock Soldiers. So I just can't wait to see what they do with this universe. I think that this whole movie is really gonna depend on Stephen Amell's performance mm -hmm. because uh, if he's great, he could make this movie very entertaining to add. He has a lot of fans also. Yeah, what makes these movies work is a, is a, a good case, and yeah. uh, I, I think that that could happen here. Yeah. Well, that was Turtles, and next up is X Men. Ooh. X Men Apocalypse. I know you have a thing for J-Law, you like her. She's I amazing. I thought this was the worst. <laughs> Am I crazy for thinking this was the worst trailer? I mean, a lot of people are bashing on J-Law, actually, because it's a lot of J-Law we're watching and we're, we're getting. Yes. I mean, people don't like her being the, the center of attention for the movie. Well, they don't like Mystique yeah. being the And Mystique center. also. Yeah, Both yeah. of them, the actress and the character. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't think in this movie, uh, Mystique is going to be the center again. Like, uh, I, hope the I hope, hope not. I hope not. Because, yeah. you know why, man? Because her powers suck. She's the yeah. one that's going to beat Apocalypse. I hope not. I'm not sold on the Apocalypse look, by the way. Yeah, I mean, he still looks like uh, the guy from Power Rangers. A little bit. Oh, wow. Still, uh, I didn't Ivan think about that. You're right. Yeah. yeah, well, that's why I thought it was the worst trailer, man. Yeah. I just. Uh, we also got Olivia Munn. Or Moon? Mun? Yeah, Psylocke to me I mean, is cool. She is beautiful. What do you think about her? I think uh, she's got a great personality. She <laughs> and uh, I, I'm looking forward to Psylocke. I, that's yeah. cool to see Psylocke. Yeah, what you hear is slice through the car. was got me excited. I don't know about you. Which of the four horsemen are you most excited to see? in movies. Angel sucks. I don't know why people like Angel. Mm -hmm. He just has wings and he flies. I like Archangel. I like when he's Archangel though. He's I mean, like a robotic. Is he going to be Archangel in this movie? Uh, he's got to be, right? It's I Apocalypse so. and the Four Horsemen. I mean, we know Apocalypse is going to boost their powers because yeah. we also saw Magneto doing this super big power drain. I don't know what's it called. Yeah. But I mean, probably we're going to get a better version of Angel and uh, Storm and, and all those. Yeah. I, di I didn't like the, the kids, the new kids. Scarlet and Jean Grey. Yes. I mean, we got to see his optic blast, but I mean, it, does, it doesn't get me excited to see their performances because. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I agree with you. We've seen them before, and uh, but the thing is, this is going to be such an important movie for that franchise yeah. because it's a tone setter, much like um, much like the, you know the way the Batman versus Superman movie is going to be, where mm -hmm. you're setting things up for the future, and this one yeah. needs to work, and they need the younger stars to work because J Law will probably not be back from any more exit movies. Hope not, dude. It's a lot of J Law. A lot of money, a lot of J Law, and Mystique <laughs> isn't the most fascinating character. Yeah. Well, X Men. Next up, my least favorite trailer or preview. Which one? Even though I'm super pumped for the movie. Which one? Batman vs Superman. That was your least favorite. That was the least favorite. Didn't have anything. I mean, sure we got we got the nice references in the trailer. We got uh, a handsome bat flick. We got the weird Eisenberg. But I mean, no action, no anything. It just made me like uh, made me smile just a little bit. Here's why I had a third because it went in a different direction than what we've already had. We've seen the action. We've seen the whole movie in 90 seconds. I liked something different, easing off the accelerator, kind of funny, 
and uh, it kind of came off out of nowhere to me. Yeah, I didn't know Turkish Airlines were a sponsor. Is that a real thing? <laughs> Who wants to go on Turkish Airlines when your two things exactly. are Gotham and Metropolis? Yeah. Apparently, Turkish Airlines are the ones who travel out of the country more. Yeah, yeah. well, it's called Turkish Airlines. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, but one, one thing we got is the Ace Chemicals building, which is where the Joker was born. Ooh. The accident happened. So that was a nice little Easter egg, I thought. Yeah, I bet there's plenty of Easter eggs yeah, that probably. I may have missed. Nothing to say about this trailer. Let's just move ahead. Yeah. Uh, Deadpool, the crazy guy. Best trailer. Work with a mouth. Was it the best trailer? I think it was my favorite. Yeah. And then Civil War. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Deadpool is, is just crazy, man. It's It has a lot of... It had the reference to the athletes. Like, he, he did a kickoff yeah. or a punt. Yeah. He was like, oh, I, wanted to be, I wanted to be an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. I love Deadpool. I love this trailer. It was yeah. my favorite trailer because Deadpool gets what it wants to be. It wants yeah. to be funny, hilarious. Fourth wall breaking. Part of the zeitgeist of, of how, you know, part of the conversation. I love the, the rom-com posters in this trailer oh, in crazy. particular. was funny. Joke after joke after joke. TJ Miller, I'm all in. And uh, yeah, Gina to, Carano yeah. is great. We got to see G- Gina as Angel Dust and Colossus fighting. Yeah. I still don't know why Angel Dust can just block a Colossus punch like that. I don't know. I mean, she's not that strong. Feminism. <sighs> Jessica Jones Quality. made it. Jessica yeah. Jones started all this, man. I mean, that's fine. I mean, call, <laughs> yeah, Jessica Jones. Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. I love, I love me some Jessica Jones, though. I hope, yeah. yeah. I think this movie's going to be great, I th- though. Yeah, I think I will enjoy every second of the movie. Yes. And the last one, and uh, competing for my favorite, is Civil War. I mean, I get why. It was epic. It was really cool, dude. We got to see Rhodey lying down again. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be dead, though. Because Marvel's not going to kill someone in the trailers. Do you, I, you think they're going to put someone dead in the trailers? And why would it be War Machine? Because War what Machine, I mean, to me... I mean, it could be because it will spark the fight again. Yeah. Between uh, Iron Man and Captain. I think if anyone's going to die, it's going to be a more relevant character. I know I know, Rhodey serves as a device to spark that fight, yeah. but I think the fight is going to be sparked on Cap's side. Someone in Cap's side, maybe even Cap, will mm-hmm. die. But uh, I think you're not going to give it away in the trailer. And another note, I really like the Black Panther uh, oh, screen. Yeah, so. Black Panther looks awesome. That suit is cool. He, and I also saw the, the claws... In uh, on Captain Shield, I don't yes. know if you saw that little thingy. Mm-hmm. I mean, we saw the. I claws. didn't see that. I gotta look at that. Yeah, it's really, really small. Do you but think I mean, we're watching the trailer? Where we're gonna see Spider Man. I don't think they're gonna put Spider Man in marketing stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's so. It's gonna either. be like a little secret appearance. We don't know how or when he's gonna be. In the movie. Are they gonna go to an island where Spider Man's in a cloak and he doesn't talk for the entire movie? And, and he, he just gives you a look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. But yeah, I mean, this, this trailer was pretty cool because we also see Cap and Bucky versus Iron Man two on yes. one. That's not fair. That's not fair. And, and they're both, like, really good tacticians. They're, like, Tac- soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, like... But Iron Man has rockets yeah, and true. other Iron Man-type things. Mm-hmm. So We saw also the two sides of the team, and we saw Ant-Man's new suit. You like it? I liked a lot of the Ant-Man scenes. I thought he made it work for a character that is very hard to do from an editing standpoint, yeah. a visual standpoint. I thought that looked cool. And, uh, you know, Ant-Man had some plans and commercials. I liked the little Coke commercial with him and Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I, you know, Marvel Universe to me knocked out of the park. Uh, we, we, I think we both have them. Their two commercials, top two, yeah, and then the two. X-Men movie. You know, yeah, man, yeah. but that's more Sony yeah, and, or whatever and, the yeah. company owns. There, the crap, whatever. Fox. Fox, Sony, whatever. And the favorite, my favorite scene from all of them was uh, Iron Man stopping the bullet with his uh, Iron Man hand. Oh, that was dude, super cool. I mean, it sweet. just shows how much the suit has evolved from mm-hmm. Iron Man one to the only the hand activating. That's yeah. crazy. It's a uh, it's gonna be fun to see, and I, I like those little those little nods to uh, the development of characters. Yeah. And, Do you have uh, a favorite scene in, in the whole the whole previews? All of them. Out of all the previews. Yeah, one scene that you, you were like, oh man, it looks so cool. You have one. I think the one scene in particular is 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 uh, really any scene we see with Winter Soldier and Captain America. Yeah. Because the bromance. I very fascinated by that Winter Soldier character. Yeah. I think out of all the characters, he's a very uh, it's a hard one to understand because he's committed some great crimes, not to his knowledge. And uh, I do think a lot of the Marvel Universe is going to kind of be on him based on the amount of movies he's signed to. So uh, yeah. just any look at, at Winter Soldier diverting from the mindless robot that we saw in the movie Winter Soldier, mm-hmm. I, I liked. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, all in all, great comic book previews. I'm so excited to see all the movies. Uh, Daniel Galvan will obviously go see Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, together, naked. <laughs> I have a ticket already for Thursday. Did you give me one? Uh, it's going to be 15 bucks. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm Emo Sebo. I'm Daniel. Signing out. I'm Daniel. See ya. Daniel. <laughs>